so we're going in a different order for the rebuttal, so I get to respond immediately. <clears throat> and uh, I think that's fine. I won't, I won't bother to pick on the hundreds of distributions of Linux. Um, the BSDs actually cooperate significantly, and despite the fact that there are a few different ones, we share a lot of code back and forth um, in very positive ways. If you want to ask me about the details of that, do so afterwards, but it's not worth spending the, the time on right now. Um, let me talk a little bit about pride in your code, because really I think that's one of the things that um, differs in, in the BSD world. That's, that's really one of the key objectives that a lot of developers who work on the BSD projects have. Um, when I look at places that the BSD code has been used, whether it's by Microsoft, whether it's product shipped by IBM or Oracle or Apple or NetApp or Juniper, um, I could go on, but it's really very satisfying to see somebody with a, an, an Apple PowerBook and say, there's code on there that I wrote. And I wrote it and contributed it to the NetBSD project, and uh, Apple has taken advantage of the fact that that was out there with a BSD license that they could reuse, um, and they've put that into a, a product that they're selling. Let me make the comparison to the, the physical world, because in the way that the GPL tries to you know, do this emancipation of code, um, if I have a utility trailer and I put it on the side of the road and say, you know, I, I'm done with this, I don't need it anymore, uh, and someone says, well, hey, can I buy that from you? And I say, sure. And then they go off and start a business with it. I don't then feel that I'm entitled to some of the revenue from their business. But some of the people who license their code under the GPL say that they do so because they've written code before and then some company has gone and used it because they put a permissive license on it and they were upset that the company went and made profit off of the code that they wrote and they felt that something should have been given back to them. And the difference that I see is that if you wrote the code for that purpose, if you wanted to give it away, then you made that choice at that point in time. You decided to share it and give it away freely. Um, if there was a business to be made you know, using a utility trailer to provide services, you could have started that business if you wanted to. But, you know, you had that choice. And so the, the BSD perspective is very much, I'm writing something because it's useful to me. This solves a problem that I have. And as a side effect, other people can benefit from this, so I'm going to share it and make it publicly available to them. Um, and if they happen to take it and, and do commercial things with it, then so be that. That's fine. And um, I, think, I think that's... That's really the, the core of the, the response that I wanted to give. I'm looking forward to hear what Mike has to say.